Hello guys, how are you? Hope you are safe, are well. Um, I wanted to try for a long time to, to start building a, uh, a wood ship, a wood kit model. So I started to watch a lot of YouTube videos about it and that started to motivate me to do it. So I went to Ochre, um, this case Ochre site uh, and I contacted them. I wanted to um, order uh, a ship uh, model. Well, they contacted me back. They told me, pick a kit. And to be very honest, I had that kind of um, intention to order the most complicated kit, but no, I chose this Albatross a intermediate simple kit um, and to my surprise it was very pleasant very enjoyable when they sent me <coughs> these uh, this support to the ship um, also this uh, Nogal walnut die the sapelli die also uh, some varnish and some paints uh, from the company, from Ochre Company. They also sent me this uh, base for it, this uh, piano, as we call it here, and this very interesting portable workshop cabinet. And this video is about this, this build, this particular build, which messes around with a um, kind of a guilty pleasure that I have, and you will see it more ahead, okay? Uh, I didn't knew this concept. To be very honest, I didn't knew this, and they sent me this. I haven't seen any kind of video about this before, um, and I thought, well, this is this will be interesting because I have to start. Um, I, I'm I'm complete noob on this, and this was very interesting. And they sent me this cabinet, um, which, by the way, they sent it to me free of charge, but they never told me what to say, and they wouldn't dare do that because it's only and only my opinion so I noticed that this is made in MDF wood it has low compartments for short slat and brushes these very interesting boxes which are exactly the same uh, that comes with um, ochre kits so you can replace those on your mobile um, portable workshop cabinet and this is, this is laser cut wood. So this is to say that it is laser precision, okay? I enjoyed very much building this. Um, this was very pleasant build. I did it with a twist. They sent this unvarnished and the major ish question here is, is unvarnished because I varnished it, okay? I varnished it. Oh, did I? varnished it but you will see that in the end so I hope you enjoy this video okay guys um, this is my first build on something about this kind of um, wood I, I did uh, um, a calendar a wood calendar a year or two ago but at this uh, size this was my first build so be gentle with me okay it's nice to see you very nice to see you all I hope you enjoyed this video. And we start by the instructions, which are very simple. Uh, just have to pay close attention. And I do mean close attention because I missed one step and you will see more ahead. Pay attention, they're easy. It's easy, but pay attention.
Here um, I can advise you if you have an exacto blade, it's more robust, it's better for you to cut these um, wood pieces. And above all, dry fit, test fit, and sand the excess wood from uh, the, the wood sprue, let's say. So, as I always say, always dry fit first, guys. Dry fit, dry fit, dry fit. And above all, we're talking about wood pieces. Sand it, sand it, and sand it until it's perfect. And now we start building uh, the work stand. And one thing I can tell you is this is very practical indeed. Um, it serves as a support while you are working on the model and also to keep it while you're not working. Um, it's a work stand for scale models of ships like you can see now. Um, on ochre there are some trams and trains. You can also use it for it. And it's adjustable for all types of holes in length and width. And you are going to see, I'm going to do a small demonstration more ahead, and you will see its use, uh, it's, it's very useful. And for me, with the Heller, um, Victory, HMS Victory, it was perfect. And so it will be for the Albatross, I am sure of it. I enjoyed this one very much. see very very simple to build now pay close attention to this step don't use any kind of glue with these two pieces okay these will adjust to the hull length and width, okay, so no glue whatsoever.
So these adjustable uh, supports for the hull, you can use it in several ways. You can use it to your own uh, necessity in adjusting the length and the width of the hull and thus the preventing that your ship model just balances and, and, and stays unstable. And as you can see here with the Revell Vasa, it just fixes it very well and even better with HMS Victory. I just pushed the envelope a bit here, rocking the, the rocking the boat, literally rocking the boat. But yeah, it's very good. It, it fixes the ship, the model, and you can work on it uh, very stable. And as you can see, this is a very simple, straightforward and fun build uh, to do. Uh, however, you have to, of course, pay attention to the instructions. I missed, I made a mistake, more ahead. I just made it uh, good, uh, you, you cannot see it, but, uh, well, I will explain it. But this is a very pleasant, um, build and if you ha want something to, to just clear your mind and at, in the process to gain a, a tool, a very useful tool and a cabinet, well, this is quite the tool for, for, for having it. I enjoy it thoroughly.
because this is laser cut it fits perfectly uh, some pieces you have to um, force it a bit but if you sand it they will adapt perfectly so this one just fit it like a glove And here guys this piece is inverted um, I have no excuse I managed to um, mend it but I am sorry it was my fault and my fault alone Before we continue with the next stage on this build, um, there's one thing I have to address to you and to take the elephant in the room because everything, everyone, sorry, is going to see this. It's this fault here, it's this gap here, this mistake. It was my fault and my fault alone. You see, that, this doesn't matter, but my head has not been in the game for a lot, a lot of time now. Um, life gets in the way sometimes, and this is what happens when you are trying to focus and everything went perfect. One mistake, one uh, I was not paying attention once, and even then, this piece here was fit it perfectly even if upside down so it was my mistake so now I have to I was as I told you on the video I was considering uh, doing some um, varnishing and maybe doing some neutral uh, varnishing on this but now I don't know maybe I'm going to use some sapelli color something dark just to cover that up for me no problem at all I really like this. I really like this. To be honest, I, I, I value, I treasure more this small stand than the whole because of the space that I have. But as a concept, this is great. Um, but it was my mistake. So make no mistake, this was my mistake. Um, I'm going to varnish this. I just used some wood um, stripes there. I just cut it, measured it, and used this um, in a neutral kind of way, in a natural kind of way to uh, as a filler. Unfortunately, this not ruins, but this, ah, uh, yeah, it spoils a bit. But I really still enjoy this. So if you're seeing this, and I have to say this, because it's true, Oker sent me this free of charge. It was my mistake. And I really am enjoying making this. Uh, it's, I don't know, it's different. And if I want to build a boat, a ship, a wood ship, uh, I, I have to start by something, right? So this is kind of simple. Starting, baby steps. And I really like this. Um, my mistake. Now let's going to do and build this small section here. And I started to build this um, drill bit holder. 
and here I just wanted to take the time first to say thank you to Ochre for sending me this. It was a very pleasure, a very fun build indeed. I want to thank all my Patreons and all who support me here on YouTube. Thank you very much guys. Uh, and this is to... Well, I have a guilty pleasure. Uh, since I was a little kid, I, I just love that cabin tone that you know that varnish that you protect the cabins with I just love that brownish uh, tone and this is provided this kit is provided unvarnished so I thought why not I'm going to varnish it and I had that mistake to clear also and I thought well I'm going to do this maybe some people here on this video are not going to like it but this is with all due respect it's my tool and I started to do some sapelli tests as you can see but I was going to dry old sapelli ink on this stand and I need it for, for the albatross and I had here an old uh, can of uh, that exact cabin wood and yeah, I said, why the hell not? And I started to do that. And as you know, I apply the first coat and I have to sand in order for the second one to grab on that one and to stay perfect, right? But as I was sanding it, it was getting old and weathered. And I said, I just love it like this. So you be the judge of it, okay? I never apply the second coat. But that weathered look, I'm sorry guys, but I just love it. And so I cleaned it thoroughly, took all remaining uh, sanding traces and started to put some tools on it. And I am indeed going to use this and as I was going I was doing this um, I am sorry but I just love it I love its concept I love the way it's made it's built it's very tough it is tough guys and the way I varnish it's my own personal taste some will not like it I am sorry for that but I love it and the tools just made it complete and with this guys I truly think that it's a very good um, tool I hope you love this video guys thank you for all your support thank you to Ochre for sending me this and as always guys as always keep modeling guys keep modeling always always with a smile and if you don't like this kind of varnish, you can also and always use pine. <sighs> I just love this. See ya.